I've already taken apart the PIXMA MG2420 and uh, cleaned the ink absorber. For this video I'll show you how I took it apart and then we will reassemble it. So this is the printer. This tray for the paper feed is pretty flexible and you can bend it. These knobs hold it in place. Very easy to pop them out. Just remember this is flexible and well it didn't break on me so I don't think it'll break on you. Take that apart, set it to the side. Next you have this cover for the scanner. Again, pretty flexible, very easy to pop these knobs out. Slide this away. Now we get to the meat of the printer, the scanner itself. The scanner is held in place by a couple Phillips head screwdrivers. I just use a cheap Phillips head screwdriver to take out the Phillips head screws. Quick and easy, no real issue to them. A couple of the tricky parts are now coming up. With the screws out, you can lift up the scanner head about this far to disconnect two connections to the board. The smaller one and a larger one. In taking apart the scanner head, there will be two connectors to the board you have to disconnect. Pretty simple, but you don't have much room in here to do it. We'll go in close with the camera and you'll see how tight it can be in there, but really it's just a tug on them and they come undone. The scanner is connected to the body of the printer by a little tab which you can see here. And in order to disconnect it, it really does take a whack. You have to give it a real whack. I was definitely afraid of damaging the printer, but so far no harm, no foul. Quick bang, and it comes undone. Right there. Then you lift the whole scanner bed off. And now you're ready to get to the guts. When you open it, if the Ink cartridges aren't in their locked position. Go ahead and slide them over just to keep them out of your way. Now we get to the ink absorber on the right side of your printer. Again, it's held in place by a screw. Easy to take off, but it will be covered in ink. Lots of paper towels, napkins, tissues, whatever. You want to put the screw on that. You want to put this cover. And it's going to have a little bit of give in it. You take it on off. You'll make sure you put both the cover and uh, the screw on uh, tissues because they're going to take a lot of ink. Yeah, definitely wear those gloves. Here's the ink absorber. I've already cleaned this one. It was really filthy black. I'm sorry I didn't take a picture of it at the time. Clean that. I did it in uh, a little bit of uh, soap and warm water. Uh, I might have squeezed it a few too many times. It's a little more compressed than it was before, but it still looks like it'll do a good job. And I'll try and hunt one down or make one of my own to take its place. But that is the opening of the PIXMA MG2420 in order to get to the ink absorber. Next, I'll show you the reassembly. With that ink absorber, definitely have something ready to put in it as soon as you take it out because this is going to be dripping with ink. I had a series of little plastic uh, bowls with, again, warm water and soap, and I just put in one, immediately went black, uh, black as my soul, took it out, put in the next, took it out, put in the third, and then we got it to start seriously start cleaning using an outside faucet. All right, here's the cover for the ink absorber. Goes right on in. Got the uh, screw right here, and... Uh, Righty tighty, lefty loosey, and in we go. All right, and it still has some play in it. It's supposed to have that play in it, that's good. And we're ready to move on to the next step. I regret not having any good video of replacing the scanner bed itself, but there was no way to get really good angles. First of all, there are a couple of flaps here at the front. You need to 
get them reattached, little clips, I'm sorry, as well as that center one we had to whack to get it undone. Next, we came over here to reconnect the board with the two connections. Definitely a two-person job, one to hold up the uh, scanner bed, one to use the tweezers to get it done. Uh, another tool I'll be adding to the list of what you need for this one. Uh, we also use needle nose to make sure they were fully attached. You can apparently take off the button cover. We didn't do that. That's a, an annoying operation in itself. But uh, that would have been another way to do it and have access to the uh, board and the connections right there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and connect the screws in back here and then come back for the rest of the cover. Now we're screwing back in the screws that connect the scanner bed. As I mentioned before, when you're putting the scanner bed on, really is a two-person job. Uh, be thankful if you have a spouse who is mechanically minded. That's always such a big help on these projects. So shout out to that mechanically minded spouse. All right, these go back in. And then you've got the scanner bed. Get these knobs back in. One, and give it a little bend, and two. And then finally, the paper tray, knob one. And without knocking over the tripod, we'll go over here for knob two. And there we go, reassembled.